Hi friends, today we shall prepare aluminium carbon batteries using the cheapest electrolyte, aqueous electrolyte namely aluminium chloride and urea which is cheapest raw materials available. This is the electrolyte I have prepared. This is contains aluminium chloride and urea. This electrolyte is aqueous. It is not flammable. Unlike, unlike this lithium ion batteries, the organic compounds which have been pumped inside the batteries are all flammable. It explodes when overcharged. This is just the opposite. It is very cheap, instant chargeable, no explosion on overcharge, no fire safe. Definitely this is going to be the future batteries for all the electrical vehicles. Just we will now start how to prepare. Similarly I have taken as before a used aluminum can. I am going to cut like this. Cut and then slowly I will going to coat it with zinc. Are you able to see zinc coating? Yeah, this is aluminum coated with zinc for longer shelf life and more rechargeable cycles. So this is will be the our negative part. The positive part will be the carbon as you have seen before a carbon rod which will act as a positive. This I am going to keep like this inside. This carbon rods I am going to attach a nylon filter cloth nylon filter cloth which I am going to fill it with carbon black, graphite powder and manganese oxide. The same thing I am going to fill it and I am going to insert this like this finally I am going to do like this the bag I will attach with the carbon rod and slowly I tie it this will be our positive electrode so we have we need this negative part is aluminum can which is cheap compared to other lithium and other uh, zinc cells and all that slowly I coated with zinc for better life this will be the positive carbon rods are very cheap it is available it will cost around this is around 50 paisa so this bag then you have to fill with powder that's all this will be the major cell the electrolyte very very important is the aluminum chloride this is also very very abundant available you can prepare anyone can prepare aluminum chloride and urea so this will be our future bad design sure you please note down aluminum chloride and urea if you want you can modify it by adding some extra ions for better performance that is that is all required then all we require is the glass acrylic wool this is an acrylic wool which i am going to put inside the battery as a filter cloth a barrier between the positive and the negative the previous one i have prepared aluminum carbon batteries using zinc sulfate zinc sulfate also very good it is a, it's a long shelf life zinc sulfate this is also very safe and shelf life is more you can recharge for many times if i am right more than 500 times so these are all cheap compared to the raw metal uh, cheap um, raw metal price it is very cheap abundant available in the in our thing in our place so this aluminum can i'm going to prepare just note down so this is what is required then the electrolyte is ready then i'm going to have this wool this wool i'm going to tie with this with this el electrode, positive electrode, I am going to tie it like this. I am going to tie it using a, any thread, whatever available threads you can use it. <coughs> this I am going. I am going to tie it like this. Why I am tying it to keep it intact? That's the thing. Otherwise, it will slip. So to be intact, I'm tying it. That's all. Slow tying. This is enough. You need some scissors. I'll show you. That's all. This is ready now. So can is there? A small filter cloth I'm going to insert inside it. To avoid any discharge within the carbon rod and the negative can. Now I placed it inside. Then I am going to slowly pour this electrolyte into it. 
half filled it is half filled then i am going to insert this electrode slowly will insert it able to see it See that does not overflow. It is also very important. So I can put a bowl down so that any overflow we can avoid it. It will not damage our surface. So see that the battery is totally, the layers are totally wetted with this electrolyte. Then only the battery reaction will start. Any extra you can add it. Even after completing, getting saturated, when the early, you need little time for saturation. Yeah. Able to see it. Some space is there. We shall fill it. For safety, can fill it. I think we are done. Maximum filling is there. So we shall slowly close it now. This the above cap, I have just cut it from a cap out, a plastic, so that it looks like a, a uniform cell, better look. That is why I have done. We can, we can clean the, wipe, swipe the outer layers. Now the cell is ready. This is called aluminum carbon battery using the cheapest electrolyte, aluminum chloride and urea. That is very important. Please note down aluminum chloride urea, which is an aqueous base. It is not organic ionic bases, which are all costly. We have to take lot of engineering aspects. It should not uh, what you call should not get leaked from the battery. It may be explosive. It may be flammable. But this is very cheap, instant chargeable, aqueous, no explosion. Even after overcharging, it won't hurt. It is like a capacitor. Aluminum batteries, carbon batteries are more of a battery and capacitor. So it can withstand even overcharging voltages. It is very useful for future for all the electrical appliances, electronic and electrical appliances. So we shall see what is the voltage it is generating. It, little, it requires little time for saturation. The starting it may give small voltage but later on once it gets saturated it give better voltage and better current amperes able to see 1.86 is the voltage which is generating from this battery once stabilized, it will give very good voltage. This all I have prepared in front of you. Then we also will see the current, what is the current it is discharging. This, these batteries are more, more of a battery and also they are capacitors. With little time to saturation, it is not attained saturation. At present, it is showing only 130 milliampers. 130 milliampers it is showing. Once it gets saturated, it will show you nearly 400 milliampers.
you can even charge it and see it now we'll try with a motor what will how the motor runs we'll see it able to see so this is in front of you are done this is aluminium carbon batteries using aluminium chloride and urea which is very very abundant available material for us so easy for reprocessing and very good for all our vehicles we can cut down our expenses so before you have seen zinc sulfate as electrolyte now we are seeing aluminium chloride and urea as electrolyte okay friends friends if you like kindly press your like button you can also pass your comments so that i can show you still more items new items i can show you i need your like button thank you